Okay, so my last video was about my purchase of the M1 based MacBook Pro 16, which solved a lot of problems as I mentioned in that video. Uh, because when I bought the M1 based MacBook Pro 13 one year before that, I was quite sad to know that it only supported one 4K monitor because my previous setup was having two monitors on my table. One was vertical, full HD and the other was 4K monitor. So I would have been happy if the M1 based MacBook Pro had supported even a full HD monitor as a second monitor, but it did not. Anyway, now that I have got the M1 based MacBook Pro 16, I have got my old full HD monitor back on my desk and now I am using my dual monitor setup. In fact, it is a three monitor setup because the 16 inch screen on this monitor is quite like a monitor. So this is a three monitor setup. Now coming to the second monitor that I have on my table, it is a vertical monitor. I mean, it is a regular monitor, but I have set it up in vertical format and I would suggest every creator to do that because now that uh, there are different platforms that support different kind of resolutions like we have YouTube Shorts which has 9 by 16 aspect ratio of videos. We have Instagram Reels that are in vertical format. So it is good to have a vertical monitor so that you can look at your content and refine it before publishing it out to the platform. And when I'm not using it for editing my videos and looking at the vertical videos that I have created, it is also useful for things like Notion pages, which remains there. I don't have to switch between different windows to look at my Notion page. It is always open on the vertical monitor so that I can directly look at it what I have to do next or whatever it is on the Notion page. And it is also good for longer pages if you are referencing something, if you are doing something on the other monitor, it is good that you have a page open that you want to reference to. And I'm not using any third party application for using this vertical monitor. It is actually built right into the Mac operating system. What you can do is go to the system preferences where you will find display, click on that. Then you will find your monitor, which you want to rotate. You will find the option of rotation, rotate it to 90 degrees, then arrange your monitors the way you have arranged them physically on your table so that it is easy for you to go from one monitor to other and then you are done. So that's about it. I've already made a video on my M1 paste MacBook Pro. It is a great machine. I mean, I'm currently using three monitor setup, doing video editing, opening a lot of pages and still I haven't heard the fans meaning. I used the same setup, the same dual monitor setup with my Intel based machine two years ago and it was quite difficult for me to do that because the fan started spinning like crazy and it was a terrible experience. And that's why I upgraded to the M1 based MacBook Pro only to know that it only supported one monitor. Anyways, the M1 based MacBook Pros, be it the MacBook Pro 14 or be it the MacBook Pro 16, both support dual monitors and this is what I am using right now. I hope you find this video useful. If you did, you can hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like that. And if you want to make your tech life easy, I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.